In this video we'll briefly discuss what is sertraline, which is widely known as Zoloft. We'll learn how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Sertraline is an antidepressant, belongs to a category of drugs called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. It blocks reuptake of serotonin, enhancing serotonergic function. It is available as 25, 50 and 100 mg, and also available as oral solution. Sertraline is used in the treatment of depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and panic attacks. Initial dosage for depression for adults is 50 to 200 mg per day, in either the morning or evening. And for obsessive compulsive disorder, the dosage for adults is 50 to 200 mg per day. For children, 6 to 12 years. 25 mg per day. And for adolescents, 13 to 17 years, 50 mg per day. Initial dosage for panic attacks for adults is 25 mg per day. And the maintenance dose is 50 to 200 mg per day. Drugs that increase effects and toxicity of sertraline are MAO inhibitors, so sertraline shouldn't be administered to patients who have used MAO inhibitors in past 14 days. Other drugs that increase effects and toxicity of sertraline. Sertraline increases effects and toxicity of these drugs. Common adverse effects of sertraline are insomnia, drowsiness, nausea, diarrhea, dry mouth, and male sexual dysfunction. Serious adverse effects, urticaria, suicidal tendency, hepatitis, bronchospasm, and psychosis. Use with caution in patients with diabetes mellitus, seizures, liver and kidney disease. Effectiveness of the drug may not be apparent until 4 weeks of treatment. A withdrawal syndrome has been described after abrupt withdrawal of this drug. Symptoms include blurred vision, diaphoresis, agitation, and hypomania. Mania or hypomania may be unmasked by selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Patients should wear a bracelet identifying their condition and possibility of developing hypoglycemia. Advice to patients taking sertraline, avoid driving and other activities requiring mental alertness, or that are potentially dangerous until response to drug is known. Avoid alcohol and other CNS depressants, such as opiate analgesics and sedatives when taking this drug. Report excessive weight loss to your physician. Take this drug in the morning, as it may cause insomnia. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos like this one.